In this video, we're going to create a content type to use for our videos. We'll go to Structure, Content Types, Add Content Type. We'll just call this a video, and we'll save and add fields. We need to add a video field. So we'll just add a video field and save. Now for the upload destination, we need to keep this as public files. We want to choose public files because Zencoder is going to pull them from our server and send them to Amazon S3 for us. If you choose enable auto video conversion, this will cause all videos to be queued for conversion automatically. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And under video thumbnails, we have three options. Automatically extract thumbnails from video with fallback to manual upload. This is what I'm going to choose, and it will act identical to the way you choose thumbnails on YouTube. You'll see a selection of thumbnails to choose from, automatically extracted from your video. If it cannot extract thumbnails, you'll be prompted to upload a custom thumbnail. If you choose manually upload a thumbnail, you'll be prompted to upload an image to use as a thumbnail each time you upload a video. Don't create thumbnail will not create a thumbnail for the video. I received a couple of error messages with this selected, so I recommend that you choose one of the other options. The default video thumbnail is a thumbnail that will be used for all videos, including those that are not able to have thumbnails extracted. When you create a video, you'll be able to upload a custom thumbnail or use this default. When you have thumbnails automatically extracted, the preview thumbnail style is the image style used to display your available thumbnail options when you're creating the video. This does not affect how the video is shown to the end user, only what you see when you create a video. Everything looks good to me, so I'm just going to save field settings. In the allowed file extensions, add any formats that you're going to be uploading to your site. I'm going to be uploading an M4V file, so I'm going to add that to my list. Everything else will work for me, so I'm going to choose Save Settings. And now that our content type is created, we're ready to create our first video.